Good evening, class 10th and 12th. I am back with the latest update as of today. A circular has been released by the CBSA for class 10th and 12th. This relates to your practicals and internal assessments. Now, practicals are for science as well as commerce as well as humanities students of class 12th, while internal assessment is in virtually all the subjects other than the practical examination these days you have a maths internal also you also have your english internal you have a project introduced in english for class 12th so according to cbse the date from which the practicals and internal assessments can begin is 2nd march which means 6 days from today but please do not worry ye 2nd march se start ho sakte hain which does not mean everybody has to start from 6th of march it can continue till 10 days before the last board exam ab ye to beta convenience ke liye de rakha hai no nothing of this kind ever happens your board exam is tentatively beginning around the end of april and let's say it ends by the let's say 20th april uh, 20th may tak khatam hota hai to iska matlab ye thode hi hai ki by 10th of may tak tumhara practically chalta rahega no koi bhi school ye nahi karta your practical and internal assessments all happen at least 12 to 15 days before your exam begins now your board exam date sheet is around 26th of april which means all this internal practical assessment would definitely be done by the let's say around 15 days from this date that makes it around your 11th or by the 12th of april se aage koi bhi school nahi rakhta which means you should be mentally prepared ki march mid ke baad aur april mid tak ke andar every school will have their internal assessments as well as practicals because most of the schools will be having pre boards right now in the month of early march so as soon as your pre boards are over after a practice of practicals you will definitely be having your board practical examination and this would be done somewhere in the end march to mid april is what is my understanding and i presume that this is what all schools will be heading for apart from this you need to know that there is an external examiner your board practical is not done by your internal teacher you have a person appointed by the cbse board who comes to your school while you are performing your practicals so you have to take your practicals really seriously because they are being observed by the examiner at times you also have an observer appointed by the cbse again which person this person remains in your school throughout all your internal assessments as well as practical examinations so please students do not take it non seriously seriously lijega see to it that your all internal assessment project work specifically is definitely complete before the mid of march project work is something which you have to finish before your viva which would happen in the presence of the external examiner also apart from this when you are doing your practicals there is a group or a batch photograph to be uploaded while you are performing the practicals or while your english project assessment or your listening skill or your maths practical theory exam is happening the photograph is uploaded for the cbsc on that particular day at that particular time and it is a group photograph where each one of you or each one of you has to be visible so please take your practicals and internal examinations seriously also all students have to sign the attendance sheet on the day that they have their board project or practical work to be done because this sheet goes to the cbse and it is a proof that you were present for your practical examination and the internal assessment so please do not forget this also apart from this practicals that you write whatever is the written work of the practical you are not to do it in the school sheets these are to be the done in the sheets which are provided by cbse beta if you have 80 students in your school appearing for practicals cbse only gives you 80 sheets so please do not spoil up your sheet 
for your practicals because this sheet cannot be replaced. So please take care of your board practical sheet and chemicals should not be spilled over them. It should not be torn. Please take good care of it. Fine. Apart from this, a quick recap of what exactly happens in your chemistry practicals. Since I am a chemistry person, I can give you a detailed view of your chemistry practicals in the term 2 of class 12th. For 10th class chemistry, may second term, there is no practical. So 10th class can relax as far as chemistry is concerned. Of course, physics or biology ke practicals 10th class. Mein hai. But for class 12th chemistry, mein you have titration which is your KMnO4 versus Mohor or it could be with oxalic. So both the titrations are in your syllabus. Anyone can be asked performing and reporting the results and writing the practical fetches you 4 marks. Salt analysis. Salt analysis may you have anions as well as cations. There are around Roughly, you have around 10 anions and around 10 cations. Roughly, I'm saying, so you have 20 identities from which you can detect your salt. So you should know all the tests for them. The video for the titration is already uploaded on my channel. All anions and cations in your syllabus are already uploaded in the channel. You are welcome to watch them. Thirdly, there is something called as a content-based practical. It is only of two marks. The content-based practicals are your functional group test. What type of functional group is present in the given organic compound? And the second is your crystal preparation for a double salt. Both the videos are already on the channel. You are welcome to watch them. So this four marks would be 2 plus 2, 2 for anion and 2 for cation. Lastly but not the least is your 5 marks which has a major viva component. And it has a project work. Of course, your practical file is not written in your syllabus, but it definitely is a part of your five mark. So see to it that your project file is well maintained and neatly presented. Practical file also should be properly signed. The index should also be signed and be confident while you appear for your Viva. There are at least four to five videos on Viva for your salt analysis and titration which you can watch on my channel. I hope you all do awesomely well in your board examination of practicals and your internal assessments also. Do well in life. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye.